Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Raila Odinga is celebrating his 78th birthday today in Mombasa and various leaders across the political divide are sending him birthday wishes. In this video, I want us to have a look at a tweet by Mutai Nguni concerning Raila's birthday for Mutai Nguni brings a very interesting political dynamic to the birthday. But before having a look at Mutai's tweet, let's see what Tai Odinga posted about one hour ago as I speak. Raila Odinga, as I celebrate in beautiful Mombasa, I'd like to thank everyone who sent me warm birthday wishes. Your kindness means a lot to me. I'm also grateful to those who joined me on this special day. Thank you for the love and support. And then you are seeing Raila Odinga there. You are seeing Mombasa governor. I'm seeing Oburu. I'm seeing Kilifi senator among a host of other leaders. And from the photos, you are seeing a happy Raila Odinga. A Raila who feels loved. Baba is indeed loved. Yes. Let's have a look at Mutai's tweet, for it's going to form the basis of our analysis. Mutai Nguni. Happy birthday, Raila Odinga. Remember, revolutionaries have no expiry date. With perseverance, a needle can dig a well. Nigerian proverb. 2027 is only four years away. That's Mutai Nguni. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. If you want to support our forum here, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number. Let's dig deep into the analysis. Yes. Let me start by saying this. About one day ago, Raila Odinga made it very clear that he's still strong and he is going nowhere. And before that, we saw some Ukambani leaders led by Kitui Senator Eno Kwambua prevailing upon Raila Odinga to hand the instruments of power to Kalonzo Musioka. And then later in an interview, Kalonzo disowned those remarks, saying that those were personal opinion of those leaders. Yes, that's exactly what is currently going on in Azimio. But one thing for sure, whether Raila Odinga will support Kalonzo or not in 2027, Kalonzo has a very bright political future sticking with Raila Molo Odinga. And I'm saying that because Raila Odinga enjoys a wide support across the country. Almost all communities across the country are supporting Raila Odinga. Look at the president himself and then you look at Raila Odinga. The president, his support comes mainly from two communities, the Kalijin community and the Kikuyu community. Raila Odinga enjoys more support than even the president across the country. In fact, in my honest opinion, Raila as an individual is a symbol of national unity. So Kalonzo stands to gain a lot by sticking with Raila Odinga irrespective of what happens. And I'm saying that because quite a good majority of Raila supporters have started warming to Kalonzo Musioka. And as Kalonzo sticks by Raila Odinga, it should not be seen. All Kalonzo should not allow leaders supporting him to start pressurizing Raila Odinga for Raila to support Kalonzo Musioka. 
let the support just come automatically. It should not be seen that Raila Odinga is being pushed to support Kalonzo Musyoka. Kalonzo has been with Raila Odinga for so many years now. And uh, any Raila supporter or any Kalonzo supporter would just pray that these leaders stick together till the end. And now to Mutai Street, Mutai is saying revolutionaries have no expiry date. With perseverance, a needle can dig a well. Nigerian proverb 2027. Nigerian proverb 2027 is only four years away. Mutai is indirectly trying to tell Raila Odinga that he should not lose hope or give up on his quest for the presidency. That's what I'm seeing here. And if you look at William Ruto's government, it's a fact that this is not debatable. A good majority of Kenyans have already lost hope and a trust in William Ruto and his government. When Kenyans were voting, or rather in the other elections, a good majority of Kenyans were very optimistic of a William Ruto's presidency. And some I know might have voted for William Ruto, thinking that William Ruto was going to transform everything and they were going to feel the positive impacts of William Ruto's government. He was talking of doing away with the dynasties and he was going to form a government with the hustlers. Those are things that gave a lot of Kenyans hope in a William Ruto's presidency. The truth of the matter in the 100 days William Ruto has been in power, his government has come out as more dynastic than even the previous regimes. And the reason is simple. We are seeing William Ruto rewarding his close friends and political allies at the expense of the majority poor. And I'm saying that because William Ruto has even increased the size of his government to accommodate some of his political allies. And at the same time, immediately took over power. He removed all subsidies, subsidies that were cushioning the poor masses from the harsh economic realities. So William Ruto is coming out clearly as a leader who is pro, eh, pro the rich, hmm, but against the poor masses. And that's why I maintain Mm, that Ruto's government is clearly not enjoying the, the support of a majority of Kenyans. And now that William Ruto is not enjoying that support, that support definitely goes to the opposition. So as I talk, it's a fact. And even if you do a proper scientific survey, you'll agree with me that a good majority of Kenyans feels closer to Azimio or to Raila and his team, compared to William Samuel Ruto. The only problem now is how can Azimio Brigade, because personally, I don't think that whether it's Raila or whether it's Kalonzo in 2027, I don't think that matters a lot. What matters, how can the Azimio Brigade transform the goodwill they're enjoying among Kenyans into an election win come 2027? Because already, they are enjoying that goodwill amongst Kenyans. How can they transform it into an election win come 2027? That's something that the Azimio Brigade, Raila and the Kalonzo and all that team, they should ponder on that and actually find the right answer to that. As they do that, they should actually be sticking together. Mm. And actually, they should be keeping the government in check. Mm. The discussion that now it should be Kalonzo or it should be Raila Odinga, in my honest opinion, is just going to dissolution their supporters more. They should just remain together as they keep the government in check, but trying to find a way of transforming, or rather of translating, sorry, 
of translating this goodwill into an election win come 2027. Because it's clear, William Ruto's government might go down in history as the most unpopular government since independence. And I'm saying that based on how William Ruto's government is ruling. And for those following me here, I've always maintained that Ruto's government can push Kenyans to a corner that Kenyans can them, themselves decide that any leader who will be associating with William Ruto, they'll reject that leader. And if Kenyans in their millions can reject all leaders associating with William Ruto, I think that will be one way of Ruto becoming a one-term president. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. Just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. If you want to support our forum, contact me through the number. I've pinned it on the comment section. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.